this is a certified stamp that I got the other day. Let's see here. This one I got from eBay. Uh, from USA Stamps. It says it's a uh, used, fine, very fine, US 1861. Sw Washington. Scott 65. The Blue Cancel and a Serp. Which is right here. So the first thing I did uh, was make sure that the stamp in the picture is the stamp that I've received and it certainly seems to be the blue postmark is pretty dead giveaway plus like the bottom left perfs just the way that they are um, good luck uh, you know, it has a tiny little bit of blue uh, right at the very edge of the last perf and it almost makes it look like the perfs are messed up but they're not it's just the ink right there uh, and that one looks exactly the same so anyway Verified, same stamp, and um, this guy, believe it or not, twenty uh, twenty-eight dollars. Really cheap. So um, let me take a look at the value in the catalog and just see how I did here. So how did I do? Well, freaking horrible. It's got a three dollar Scott value. Uh, <laughs> so nonetheless, um, obviously, I paid thirty dollars for this thing because I wanted a certified stamp. But beyond that, I had a goal. Uh, see, I, this is one of two that I bought. And I bought them for really... Because <clears throat> I, I like... Uh, I struggle greatly in telling the color differences between these stamps. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen this kind of stamp before. These are really old Washingtons. Um... The, the catalog, I mean, is it pink? Is it rose? Um, you know, is it red? Is it, uh, I don't know, just they, they have all these different ones, basically like pink or rose. How the heck, I, I do not know how to truly tell pink from rose yet. Uh, I, just, this is why you get it in expertise, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, that was kind of my goal is uh, to have two certified stamps so that I knew for a fact this is a rose colored stamp that I can put it right on next to another one which is a pink so let me show you the next one that I got that's this guy oh, little, uh, little number fell out so the last one was a PSE cert and this one is a crow cert. Now, while I don't really know much about the crow gentleman himself, I hear his name just the same as um, oh, what the heck <laughs> as a, a being a reputable uh, expert who certifies these. Just I hear the crow cert. Crow cert about as much as any other certification company. So, oh, this is a Kentucky cancel. So this thing um, is a. He says Scott sixty four. Okay, what was the other one? Sixty five. Okay. So um, let's see here. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry, this one is uh, pretty folded in. It does not want to open easily. I always feel guilty when I have to kind of force these things. This is totally a different paper um, than this other certification as well. Um, this stuff feels like regular paper. This feels glossy. So, William T. Crow, I think is his name. Yeah, William T. Crow. It says it right there. And um, so he says this is his number 64. 1861 and it's pink genuine used with a double circle crown or town <laughs> cancellation the stamp with a pulled corner perforation at the left so somebody pulled the the corner perf off I guess certificate of expertise oh, that's nice 11th of October 2021 right this guy just had this certified holy moly so anyways, uh, number 64, 
that's the difference. So you look in the catalog, 65 is $3, number 64, $600. Catalog value for this one. Okay, this one's in really good shape. It's nice and flat. Um, you can probably tell. This thing ain't, ain't in bad shape. Looks like <clears throat> hinge on there, formerly hinged. But, uh, yeah, that's in really good shape. Now, uh, let me see here. I paid $209 for this. I bought this from Hipstamp. Uh, I don't see the, the seller's name right there right away, but anyway. Um, I had an epiphany that I, since I basically... I'm trying to fill out my Mystic albums, and I'm searching through the stamps that I have, and boy, if it isn't a total pain in the butt, um, when I when I reached this one, <clears throat> I wanted to be able to tell what is rose versus pink. I actually have quite a lot of these uh, stamps. Sorry, I'll try to zoom in a little bit here. And um, these are three dollars or six hundred dollars, cat. Right? I mean, geez, it just goes to show. So wow, this is exactly why I bought that. Is I wanted to know what was the difference. Sorry for the sloppy camera work here, guys, but. I'll be darned, you know, it is so nice to have had an expert look at these and get the, and have them certified. There's no doubt about it. I mean, pink is pink, man. Pink looks, looks like a starburst, you know, and this guy clearly looks more of, i sorry to say, I'm a, I want to say dry blood. Um, it looks, I guess, more rose. Roses are red. Um. I mean, see, but this is so faded. Uh, up here, I'm clean this off real quick. Yeah, it's so faded. Um, what the heck? Right. That I bet you it was a brilliant red before it got it's so aged. I mean, these are very old. But it's uh, going to make identifying the rest of mine pretty easy. I'm, I have a whole bunch, and I bet you they're this rose color, and I've been just shaking my head thinking, is that pink? Is it rose? I don't know. So, uh, anyways, excuse my stomach. Wow. Whoa. So this is something that I decided to invest the money in, not that I absolutely love this stamp, but I wanted to have the confidence when I go through these older early on you know, American stamps that I have, when I put them in my album, not every single one is certified by far. And um, I want to see, I, I want to make sure that I do the best I can filling these albums out. So yeah, basically I ended up just buying these to use as a color reference for myself. I, as I sit here, um, I still think it was a good idea. I'm glad that I bought them. Just to have the total confidence, uh, I mean, um, in these different color shades, it just kind of makes me happy. You know, now I get to go, I, I really do have a lot of this stamp, um, this style stamp. I get to go and use this as a color reference. Uh, it's just a beautiful thing. And it's nice to know that even in 1861, pink was pink, you know. Uh, even though it's that old... It's still pink. When I see stamps, I really do get to second guess myself, um, just because of the all the different possibilities. You know, maybe it aged and it's yellowed, or it's toned, or it's faded. Um, you know, maybe this was a pink stamp that was maybe the adhesive made it turn that color, but it really was originally a pink. And I like overthink it. I overthink it sometimes. I. I make things more difficult for myself than I, you know, I kind of am my own worst enemy sometimes. 
uh, but it's just nice to instill in myself again the confidence of when I look at someone I say is that pink I say I don't know I mean maybe a little it could be maybe it was I would, no pink is pink Haha, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and you know, um, let me bring it back down. They all seem to be number 64, as far as I can tell. $600 each. May want to expertize no grill. There's no grill. Okay, so here's an example of the. I knew I had a few for sure. Now, the next thing is. Even though uh, I just went through my U my U.S. collection and this is what I came up with, I know for a fact. Uh, sorry, guys, I got burned. Um, I know for a fact that all those other albums that I bought, like the oh god, what was it? Like a forty-five hundred dollar U.S. album, and then like a I can't remember three thousand dollar album. I mean, you know, those two albums I did videos on, they were littered with this. Uh, there there was a bunch of these in there, and. Um, now I get to go and actually look at them and see if I think they're number 64 or 65, right? Here's our pink or rose. So, um, I'm going to get to put, I'm going to put these certificates in this album. Uh, and I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. Uh, there's part of me, I think I'm just going to put a page in between these two pages and just put these, um, certificates in there so that you see the certificates and then you turn the page and you see the stamps so um anyways uh let's so for, for one thing uh what i'm going to do is i don't know why i put these back in <laughs> i'm going to put this next to all of them and decide if i think they are the rose or k so got them lined up here so here's our rose, here's our pink, and so we get to compare uh, all the other ones. Now, this one, see, this one is just, it's it's got a really nice cancel, I like the cancel, but it is a little tattered um, at the top. This one's in a kind of poopy shape, you can tell on the back it's been through some stuff here you know as I hold it if I, let's say I just put it on top of them man you can just tell how much better shape those uh, certified stamps are man maybe that's what it takes for them you know to uh, be certified properly is they can't be in such poor condition you can't tell right I don't know just thinking out loud I mean this this thing sucks so basically, even if, even if it was a number 64, um, it wouldn't be anything near the, uh, what its value could have been. And um, not that these really go for cat value. Again, guys, um, I've had a, a couple people comment that I've, they were total morons. Uh, they couldn't even spell words correctly, but they're saying, watch out, my values are incorrect, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, they're catalog values. <laughs> so you take them with a humongous grain of salt. They're gonna you're not gonna be able to sell any of these stamps for what the cat value is. So six hundred dollar cat value, I bought it for two hundred bucks, certified, right? So anyways. Um this is I can't tell. But if I was gonna guess, I'm gonna say that it probably was a rose color. So I don't think that it's um it was ever pink. And uh I can't say for sure, of course, so as I compare these two, yeah, um, just hard to tell, they are all so yellowed, man, a lot of the stamps that I have could be a lot better shape, makes me think, <laughs> gosh, well, you know, these were random, from random collections, no idea how any of these were stored, this one's actually imperforate on the right uh, I was questioning, uh, you know, as I look at it, like, uh, I'll be honest, I feel like this one could have been pink, 
because of right there at the bottom of the uh, the sense it it kind of shines through why isn't this focusing okay okay at the bottom it's quite yellowed at the top but kind of down there by the s of the us it almost looks kind of pinkish actually it kind of does throughout the whole thing like when i sit this next to this and i don't know how this looks in the camera guys like this one's more yellowed for sure than that one but this one looks closer to being actually pink than this uh, this guy I don't know. it sucks that they're yellowed like that this is this, this is what I struggled with before I still can't even tell I can't tell uh, this is the truth man mm. I really do think this one was a rose though I think that one goes with this Sucks to have to make these calls. Man, these are just so yellow. Mm. Sorry, I'm, I'm really trying to decide. You know, you know, the honest, the honest truth. I can't tell. The stamps are so yellowed that I cannot tell. Wow. Didn't expect that. Although, this one being in the best shape, um, I'm actually going to say kind of confidently, I think that that was a rose. I don't think, even though it's it's yellowed, I don't think that it changed from pink to this. This I'm just... Uh, I feel like it would be lighter. Uh. So anyways, whoa, how fun is that? $240 later and uh, what the heck, I I at least have a real comparison of rose to pink, but no, I am not confident in identifying any of these other ones anyways. Funny how that goes, huh? It's not a perfect world. Uh, so, <laughs> that's that. You know, uh, I'm going to pop these in my album real quick. Got them in the album, so I put in this little clear page. Um with the certs back to back so that when you turn it you can see one and then the other cert and um, then I decided to put all these other ones that I can't really tell right here in a little stamp mount and I said number 6465 so I guess hey whoever looks through this album uh, can try and decide for themselves <laughs> so anyways that was it um, I'm going to continue the process, and uh, yeah, uh, I hate to say it, but those beautiful albums that I made those videos of, I am going to rob them. I'm going to rob them, and I'm going to take uh, all that good stuff and put it into this album, so eventually, when I go through this, it's actually going to have, well, I got the Jackson, but it's actually going to have uh, a majority of the stamps in it is my goal. And the grills, oh yeah, this early uh, U.S. album. I haven't gotten into the grills yet. I have sort of tried to learn about um, how to tell them. I mean, you count the points and da da da. I understand there's a grid pattern, yeah, yeah. But um, I just haven't really gotten into. I don't have a lot of grilled stamps. I don't really come across them. Uh, these ones that are in here, like this, says it's an F grill. Green down. So this is an F grill. This one's a Z grill. Uh, I would not have put these in here unless I were confident that they were. And this one definitely has a grill pattern on the back. Um, so yeah, the few grills I do have, um, either either they came out of something that I had just the utmost confidence. And I was like, I don't even have to check it. It's a Z grill. I know it is. Or I actually checked it. Um, this one, the Z grill, I think I did check, and this one I don't think I did. This is uh, the F grill, Washington. No, not to ramble on forever, but that's my goal. I'm gonna fill this guy out uh, bit by bit, and um, 
over the years, guys. Holy crap. Uh, it's just, it, the thing is, yeah, to actually fill one of these out is going to take a lot of money. And I like to do all my little extras. I'm going to have extra stamps on the insides of the pages and around the other stamps. And, um, it's funny how we change as we grow. You know, at first I was like, I'm going to have a mint stamp in every one of these. And... Um, I'm not going to put any extra stamps around. It's going to be neat and clean and exactly how they intended it and blah, blah, blah. Not going to happen, man. Turns out, you grow up, you learn about stamps a little more. It's like, no, I am not going to have this complete mint album here because that would be just more money than I could ever spend on this. It's the truth, man. You got to be loaded. Like, loaded to... Uh, completely fill this album out with mint stamps <laughs> when I first got into collecting I thought that used stamps are worth more that's what they say right used stamps happen to be worth more oh lucky day nope and I was trying to I was trying to tell somebody I can't remember one of my family members or my co-worker I was trying to tell her uh, tell them that uh you know, think about the odds like, uh, like, okay, like, uh, let's say just even Scott number one, right? Which I don't have, I haven't put in here yet, but, uh, I don't have an actual number one. I've got a 1B, so that's something I still need to deal with. Um, but, uh, so think about the first stamp, right? Boom, Scott number one, Franklin. Good guy. Um, what are the odds? Why would a mint stamp be worth more? Because what are the odds? I mean, this was released 1847, right? So this stamp, what are the odds that a completely mint stamp has made it all the way to, well, it's still 2021. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty close to 22, but uh, it's made it from 1847 uh, to 2021 uh, and remained in mint condition. The odds of that happening are uh, so much smaller than the odds of you finding this being used. Um, so that was my logic was, I mean, it's 174 years old. And to think that, um, just that, 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 that's how I ended up realizing, that's how I ended up realizing, you know, hey, it, I understand why the mint would be more. It is much less likely any of these to have made it in 170 some years and um, remained in just mint condition. So, yeah. Those of you who think used stamps are worth more, not the case. Now, there are absolutely examples where used stamps are worth more for sure um, in the philatelic world. But from what I've seen in general, the you know, a couple of years I've been doing this, uh, well, I guess a little bit over a year religiously, um, yeah, I can say. Mint stamps are worth more. Done deal. Have a good day. If you were going to buy me a stamp uh, for Christmas, get me a mint stamp. <laughs> it would be worth more, you know? Um, so, yeah. Anywho. Um, wow, these are cool. All right, let me shut this before I just sit and stare at this all day. Just wanted to show you guys um, and talk a little bit. Uh, I'm going to continue filling this thing out over time, and I'll be back with more later on. Bye-bye.